Mitutoyo UK celebrate a 40-year milestone this year, and for the majority of that time, they have provided programming and subcontract inspection services. So we're going to head on inside, find out more about those subcontract inspection services and how they can help you achieve tighter tolerances on your critical components. We're going to find out a little bit more about Mitutoyo as a brand a little bit later on in the video, but we're here at your facility in Halifax. You've got many more across the UK, but the question on everybody's lips is why choose the OEM to get your subcontract measurement services? That's right. To get your subcontract services from uh, the OEM allows us to provide our latest technology, our latest hardware and software offerings um, so that we can deliver the best and most effective solutions to your metrology uh, requirements. And where are your facilities across the UK? So we have four facilities, uh, so we have Andover, Coventry and Halifax where we are today um, and there's also a facility in East Kilbride. So those locations allow us to um, provide uh, close proximity to our customer base um, and allow us um, good access to um, provide uh, a place to meet customers, to bring them into our facilities um, and also a base for us to, to go out and visit you as well. So it's busy here today. How much expertise have you actually got in this building? Uh, so the measurement services department has over 125 years of uh, service for the company um, in terms of metrology experience uh, considerably more. Oh, wow. And what industries are you looking after? Uh, our main areas of expertise are aerospace, automotive and medical. Um, uh, but having served those industries um, for a long number of years, um, we can, we can service all sorts of different other industries. There's applicable knowledge um, that applies from one industry to the next. So let's find out about your processes now. Where, where does the customer begin? How, uh, talk me through the whole process from start to finish. The usual uh, start to an inquiry would be a customer uh, contacting us. Um, maybe find us on our website. We have a new website this year, um, just launched. Um, uh, and they were, might phone us or email us um, their inquiry um, and ideally a, a technical drawing um, or a CAD model um, and from that we'd, we'd begin um, the process of working with them. That might mean that we um, can provide a quotation based on what they've already inquired or it might mean that we have to have some discussion. Um, they could come into our facility and we could go through um, the problem that they have in more detail. Um, we could visit their facility um, or we could just do it perhaps via some sort of web link um, uh, and email back and forth. So who's coming to you for these services? Uh, we have people from right across industry. Um, so I've mentioned our, our major workload is from the, those, those three, aerospace, automotive and medical. Um, but people come to us from all sorts of uh, different industries. Um, so food packaging, for instance, is also a, another important one, um, another big customer base for us. So Andy, talk me through somebody who's interested in making an inquiry about the programming side of their business. So we get a number of uh, scenarios where we might have people ask for programming. Um, one of the main ones uh, is just because there's new products being introduced into a customer and they need to get those parts programmed ready to run on their existing Mitutoyo equipment. So we can do that programming using a CAD model here in our offices and we can deliver the program to the customer site. Uh, also with programming services, we can actually place our programmer on the customer site and the programmer can work there with, with the customer uh, and deliver that. And that might be again because of bottlenecks or it might be because there's a staff absence uh, and things like that. Yeah, and these things happen. How about the subcontract side of the business? So a subcontract scenario um, can be because people have large uh, batches and they don't have the capacity, so they don't want to buy another machine at that stage, but they just want to uh, put more throughput in the business and they can send the parts into us and we'll inspect those. Or it might be that they don't actually have a machine, so, so we can work with currently non mitotoy customers uh, and if they need to measure their parts, they can send them in. And that would be uh, done in our temperature controlled facility, which we can uh, go and have a look at now. Perfect. So in this particular facility, uh, we've got three coordinate measuring machines uh, rearing in size. Um, and then we also have another three machines in our Coventry facility. Um, alongside those machines, uh, another part of the facility, we also have other uh, dedicated pieces of equipment um, for, for inspection. 
um, so we can provide uh, solutions um, using all of that kit. Uh, the probes on the machines, we also have a variety, um, so we can match exactly what the customer has on their machine. So if they send us uh, a, a programming task, we can also accept a part from them and prove out the program. And this means you can put the part directly onto their machine um, and then they don't have to lose any production time proving out programs, etc. Um, so what are the capabilities in terms of size that you're able to look after? Um, so the biggest machine we have is, is the one next to me, um, so that's a, a 12 20 10, um, that describes the size, so it's 1200 in X and 2 metres in Y uh, with a 1 metre in Z, um, so that means we can, we can accept some, some pretty big uh, parts from customers, um, which uh, obviously gives us a lot of flexibility. So are there any other capabilities that you know, the machines provide? Um, so we can we can put a lot of different uh, uh, probe heads and attachments onto the machine. So, for instance, we have um, tactile measurement uh, with scanning probes and touch trigger, um, but we also have uh, the availability to use laser scanning technology, a camera system. <coughs> um, we have the Revo 5-axis scanning probe, um, which uh, gives us a lot of flexibility for, for customers uh, who've got more challenging components to measure. As we see customers um, uh, buying and using more complicated uh, CNC machines and manufacturing methods and 3D printing, we need to react to that and we need to have that equipment available. And being the OEM, we do have that. Yeah, and the programming, is there any benefits to using yourself? Uh, certainly, so, um, so we have the latest software, uh, I think as, as I've mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. um, and that means that we've got the latest functions to work to the latest uh, drawing standards. Um, <coughs> we have the latest CAD technology, so as people um, update their CAD systems, um, we can uh, import the latest CAD model um, and all of that stuff, again, it's, it's something that as an OEM we have available um, as part of our portfolio. And of course, you mentioned earlier about the, the machines uh, evolving. Are there any trends within the industry? Uh, there are certainly. Um, so I've mentioned the 3D printing there um, and, uh, and uh, obviously there's five axis and six axis machining centers. Um, and then also uh, on the software side, we're starting to see what's uh, termed as model based definition. Um, and that's including within the model the details uh, of the design intent. So instead of having a two-dimensional drawing that's traditionally been used, the detail is now in the CAD, uh, in the CAD model. Um, and we can support the import of those CAD models um, and we can utilize that to actually produce programs more effective, effectively and efficiently. So why have Mitutoyo decided to not only provide the subcontract measurement services, but also you know, sell the machines too? That's right, so you, you could argue that they are in conflict to one another. Um, if you're coming to us for, for subcontract uh, um, solutions, it may mean that you don't need to buy the machine. But what we find is that usually once customers move into an area where they're perhaps making parts that are of a tighter tolerance, um, they need to start that journey by having it subcontract inspected. And then as they build up more customer base um, and more capability, uh, then they'll move on to buying a machine. So it serves to feed into that uh, into that side of the business. Yeah. If you've if you've had your parts measured here, there will obviously be a program to measure those parts, and that program can be delivered with the machine, so you can push a button and be ready to go with your new machine. But it's not just the CMMs that you're providing the services on, are you? No, that's right. We have a lot of other equipment. Um, essentially, the whole Mitutoyo catalogue is available to us to measure parts. Um, so we don't ask that the customer decides what equipment to measure on, um, we will we'll take their inquiry, we will analyse it and then we will help them pick what's the best piece of equipment. They don't even really need to know what we've measured it on, <laughs> as long as we get the answers right then they're usually happy. Can we go see some of those? We certainly can. <laughs> so this is some of the other equipment um, that we can use for subcontract inspection services. So we have our uh, round test machines, um, we've also got Contracer. Uh, and surface finish um, and then we also offer a vision programming service uh, and inspection service so like the CMMs with vision um, we can offer both subcontract inspection and we can also measure customer parts if they send them in. So you are a very busy company is it just the UK that you offer these services for? No not just the UK um, so we've provided programming uh, support to countries such as uh, Thailand, uh, Israel, the US um, so we can uh, we can obviously program offline as we've talked about earlier um, and even we have a 3D rapid prototype machine um, so we can print parts and test the program out here and then and then email a, a program across to the customers. So if someone comes here what have you got here at this facility? So this facility we obviously have our subcontract programming services uh, we have our showroom so you can come here and discuss any of our products in the brochure with our, with our sales team um, and we also have a training department 
we train you on your machines if you've, if you've bought new equipment from us. Now, Andy, you have been here for 12 years. So why Mitutoyo as a brand? Uh, so Mitutoyo is a Japanese brand. Um, we're known for, for long service of employees. Um, we're also known for quality products. Um, and it's enjoyable to work for a company like that to bring our expertise, to improve our expertise and deliver to the customer the product and the service that they need. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming.